Well, um, for multiple reasons. First of all is, I mean, the U.S. is a very important market for us. It's the second largest market uh, from a turnover standpoint. I mean, because we sell, you know, one third of all the aluminum consumed in the U.S. We supply lots of copper as well, between 12 and 15 percent per year. But it's the second largest market in terms of equity for us. So if I look at the direct investment to Rio Tinto, we're talking about $25 billion held by uh, U.S. investors. So I come here pretty often. And that's one reason. And the second reason, as you mentioned, is, you know, there is a big summit uh, organized by the World Bank tomorrow in relation to climate change. We want to be part of the solution. We have plenty of things to offer. And that's the other reason why I'm in D.C. today, sunny D.C., I have to say. Is this new move, movement, Jess, uh, an admission uh, on Rio Tinto's part and on, on the industry's part that you haven't done enough in this space uh, in the past? Uh, you know, it's an interesting question. My sense is more looking forward. Um, you know, the past is the past. Climate change is, is a reality that we are facing. I mean, as Rio Tinto and a few other companies, we believe in the science around it, and we have a lot to offer. I mean, let me, let me be, let, let's step back and give you the, let's set the scene properly here. If everybody agrees we're going to need more wind turbines, for example, and, you know, if you think about the 3 megawatt wind turbines, it will require four tons of copper, three tons of aluminum, and hundreds of tons of steel going forward. So as and when the world tackles climate change issues, then it's going to require more and more minerals. And therefore, we believe as Rio Tinto that we can be part of the solution through our product offering in terms of copper, in terms of aluminum, and a few other uh, materials. So it's all about looking forward here. Jay, as you touch so many different industries you know, around the globe, from mining metals that go into everything, from cars to batteries, Give us your sense right now of how the global economy is doing as we go to the second half of the year. Yes. So if from a mining standpoint, there are two key drivers for us. One is GDP growth and the other one is trade. Those are the two main drivers for us. As far as GDP growth is concerned, um, you know, the, the economy is slowing down, uh, especially in China, but as, as scheduled, as forecasted. So I'm not really concerned about this one. Um, the U.S. is doing fine, and, uh, you know, uh, I was watching your program this morning. I understand there could be some good pieces of news coming from, uh, from the White House in terms of further investment in terms of infrastructure, which would be a great piece of news. So from a GDP standpoint, slowing down, but still at a very high level. And then on the trade, which is the other element which is very important for us, um, I mean, I'm, as always, I'm the optimist in the room. I fundamentally believe that there would be a deal uh, secure between China and the U.S. at some point in time. And once again, if I... Re was watching your program early today. I mean, the, the color of the smoke coming out of Beijing seems to be promising. So, seen from today, if I look at it at a macro level, am I overly concerned by the second half of this year? The answer is no. That's the first part of the answer. The second part of the answer, as you said, I'm selling iron ore, I'm selling bauxite, I'm selling aluminum, I'm selling copper and a few other minerals. If I look at me, my other books today, they are absolutely full. So today, I don't have any problem, no material concern for the rest of this year. In terms of China's pickup, do you feel like it's sustainable or, or is it short-term stimulus-led? Oh, I mean, it's absolutely clear that China will continue to slow down. But, you know, 6% on the economy, the size of China, is a massive number at the end of the day. That's one aspect. The second aspect is it's absolutely clear that China is introducing some more stimulus package as we speak. Um, they've been able to do it for a few years now. They are seeing a lot of cash. Am I overly concerned? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not concerned today. Jess, I just want to ask a quick question on, on Brexit. You're a, a French-born, now British citizen, leading a Australian-British miner that's headquartered in London. Well, what, what is your, your view on Brexit? And is uh, the global headquarters of Rio Tinto being in London under threat based uh, around how Brexit plays out? Oh, I, I think we are on public record on this one. Brexit has no direct impact on Rio Tinto in any fashion. I mean, the our turnover in Europe is very small to start with. We don't have any assets in Europe anymore. So as far as we're concerned, is Brexit is not a concern whatsoever.